Hello and welcome to Barcelona for MWC 2023, where I'm delighted to be joined by Gautam Shiran. He's Vice President of Product Management at Qualcomm Technologies. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Charlotte. Glad to be here. Now, as the 5G rollout accelerates and more and more 5G devices come to the market, why aren't premium devices like smartwatches more 5G enabled? Charlotte, the first wave of 5G really was focused on enhanced mobile broadband devices. So it's like big fat data pies, multi gigabit speeds. 5G smartwatches have always been in the roadmap. So as 5G has evolved, what's happening this year is uh, we are bringing to market NR Lite or 5G Red Cap, which was standardized in release 70. That's actually tailor-made for premium 5G uh, watches. It allows us to make devices that are small in size, low power consumption, that basically enable this category of new 5G devices. So how have you overcome the challenges? What's changed? So first thing is, if you're talking about space-constrained devices or devices that run off a battery and you cannot put a big battery in them, then you need to be very power efficient, you need to be size efficient. And you need to, these devices don't need multi-gigabit speeds. They basically need uh, efficiency, power efficiency as well as size efficiency. So that's where our new Snapdragon X35 modem RF chipset comes in. It's a ground up design that optimizes size, power consumption exactly for these kind of use cases. So tell me more about NR Lite. How does it fit into the wide range of 5G connectivity alongside, let's say, a gigabit 5G broadband or NB IoT 5G connections, for instance? So NR Lite was uh, something, as the name says, is NR, 5G NR, but a lighter version of it. So basically, it's all the goodness that 5G brings, including the access to the new spectrum bands, the spectral efficiency of 5G, but only in a smaller package. So the peak rates for the Snapdragon X35 modem RF system is about 220 megabits per second. Uh, that allows us to make a device that has all the benefits of 5G, but in a smaller peak rate envelope so that we can enable new device categories as 5G smartwatches. Now the other side of 5G is enhanced mobile broadband, which we have been focusing on for the last couple of years, and it, which continues to evolve, where you have multi-gigabit um, speeds on 5G, either on sub-6 gigahertz or with millimeter wave spectrum, and we use it for all kinds of devices like uh, telematics, fixed wireless access, uh, compute uh, laptops, and smartphones and other use cases. And are there any other applications you can think of for NR Lite today and maybe in the future? 5G NR Lite, as well as Snapdragon X35 modem RF system, we are basically reducing the size power consumption requirements of 5G devices. We expect this technology to really enable a whole suite of entry-level 5G products. It could be 5G smartwatches, industrial routers, CPEs, low-end compute products, but any product that requires about 200 megabits, 220 megabit speed rate does not require a gigabit speed, as well as requires the device to operate in a much more efficient manner. So how important is it to reduce power consumption for certain applications and why? So with these products, what we're really bringing, as I said earlier, is all the benefits of 5G in a smaller data envelope. Now, there's also another important aspect that's going on today is operators are looking to migrate the LTE spectrum onto 5G. And as they look to do that, they want to replace CAT4, CAT6 devices of LTE, which is anywhere from 150 to 300 megabits per second, and move them onto the 5G network. To enable this migration, not only do we have to enable um, a perfect replacement in 5G, but we also have to bring the cost points down. So Snapdragon X35, it will provide the power and the size benefit, but at the same time, it will also bring the cost of 5G devices way down so that we can enable all these new categories. So we talked about watches, we talked about AR glasses, we are looking at industrial routers, low-end entry-level Chromebooks, education Chromebooks with uh, um, 5G for the first time, right? And uh, there's a whole suite of applications we are going to enable with this uh, chipset. Finally, does either the Snapdragon X35 or NR Lite have implications for the wider 5G ecosystem and possible use cases? Absolutely. So, as I said earlier, with Snapdragon X35 modem RF system, we're reducing power consumption, we're reducing the size. These two capabilities will enable a whole set of devices where 5G has not been able to penetrate till now. 
In addition to this, we are also substantially going to reduce the implementation cost of 5G. And that we expect is going to proliferate into a number of device categories. To give you an example, operators around the world nowadays are looking to migrate their LTE spectrum towards 5G over time. And there's still a number of CAT4 and CAT6 LTE devices which range from speeds of 150 to 300 megabits per second. Now 5G NR Lite or REDCap is a technology that can help that migration from LTE to 5G, enabling operators to migrate to 100% 5G network over time. So we expect both from the device side, operators' own migration towards the 5G future, this uh, technology is going to be very monumental. Thank you very much. Gautam Shiran, thank you. Thank you, Charlotte. Thanks.